Hey, it's your girl Lil with Eagle Films Take One Interview, and today we got somebody that everybody's been talking about, my man Kayo in the building. What's up, y'all? Kayo, how you doing? Good, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I saw that feature you had with Shauna B in the Everybody Talking video, you know, that was a dope little video. Was you like the bank teller in that video? <laughs> he was like counting all the hundreds, like counting them out. <laughs> that wasn't my money, that was her money. <laughs> <laughs> Discounted for her? Yeah. Um, you know, how was it working with Shauna? Uh, I liked her, she's... She was my favorite feature out of anybody I worked with. She was a lot of fun. A lot of energy, a lot of like. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, me, my entourage, and her and her entourage, we spent like that whole day together. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was a fun, uh, it was fun to shoot that video. Fun experience? Yeah. And I know you also dropped two other videos with us. You dropped the video in February with Three Problems and Averb, and you also dropped a video in March with TK, and then you dropped, you know, April with Shauna. So I'm wondering who next, and who's in May? Who you featuring in May? I, I can't say. It's secretive? <laughs> yeah, you know. With the streets, a surprise for the streets. Yeah. Cool, cool. And then, you know, as STL artists that you've been working with, you know, predominantly we are African-American artists, you know. But after listening to your mixtape, I found out that you were of Asian descent, you know. So can yes. you talk a little bit more about that and tell me, you know, what country are you repping? Because I'm repping Ethiopia. Okay, so I wonder what okay. you repping. Uh, my, my father is from Laos, but, you know, I, I, I put on for all the Asians. You know, <laughs> every single one of them. Vietnamese, there. Chinese, yeah, Japanese, especially, everybody. You know, especially the <laughs> Vietnamese crowd. You like the Vic crowd? Yeah, they oh, rock cool. with me. And then do you feel like you being, you know, of a different race, do you feel like that puts you in a different playing field than the other STL rappers? Do you feel like it's a downfall, upside? What do you think is the benefits and pros um, and cons of it? I mean, it's, it's definitely different. You know, it's, it's a culture shock for the, uh, for the St. Louis rap scene. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's seen it coming. Um, I think I'm the only one. The only I, one? Yeah, I think I'm the only person, you know, the only... You don't know, only non-black rapper. <laughs> I don't know of any other ones. You so know. you feel like you've put it on for the foreign community, the yeah, culture, my, more culture. Yeah, the multi multi culture. Uh, the, the the diverse part of it. I feel like I'm the face of that. Mm -hmm. And then also on your mixtape, you know, you really talk about your culture, your background. You know, mention ever so often, or you know, other people shout you out in your race. So do you feel like you said that benefited you in a way, right? Oh yeah, definitely. You know. Um, well, they, they show love, you know, people, I get a lot of shout outs and a lot of people uh, reaching out to me, you know, giving me advice because I'm new to everything, mm -hmm. you know. And with, you know, with your mixtape you just dropped, you know, you said you're new, but you have a lot of STL faces on there, a lot of people on there. I actually heard you say in one of your verses, I think it was your intro song, if I'm not mistaken, you said, you know, back at home, they don't show you love, but out in the States, when you get out here in the streets, you know, like everybody show you love, you know, people, you know, they rock for you, they love your music, they turn you up, you know, what's that all about? Um, I mean, it's just it's just like that in St. Louis. There's a, there's a lot of hate. You know, once you get a name, you know, either you get killed or you know, just everybody hates you. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is here. We go out of town. It's different. We get handshakes, hugs. People want to take pictures with us. But it's just here. You know, this city is just a lot of hate here. And so the people that you have worked with so far, like the STL artists, do you feel like you're gonna branch off into other STL artists? You like, nah, the people I worked with is who I worked with, and that's it. I've worked with everyone who I want to work with so far, you know, and uh, uh, I'll probably, I'll probably will have a Chicago rapper or, um, you know, a Southern rapper on my next album. On oh, your next album? Yeah. And your album, you said you would be releasing it, because I know you just dropped your mixtape, The Curveball. Yes. And so the album will be coming out what time zone? Um, aiming for September. Aiming for September? Yeah. Cool, cool. And then with the Curveball mixtape, you know, what was the idea and theme of that? Because, you know, that is a odd, like an odd name for a mm. mixtape. It's not common. So, you uh, know, the Curveball. My, my produ it's an inside joke. My producer, <laughs> my producer, Tess Banger, calls me a Curveball because he says I'm, I'm something different. You mm -hmm. know, like they just do something different at the St. Louis rap scene. So I'm, I'm the Curveball. You like something different. You're yeah. unique to the city. And my style is different. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm a, you know. A uh, uh, lyricist, I would say. I more say a lot of words when I rap. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like your vibe is more like lyricist, like not so much street rap, or what do you feel like your mix is between? I think I'm well-rounded because I am a street rapper, but I also am a lyricist, and I try to incorporate both of my music. And you know, when you say you incorporate the stuff into your music, and like the vibes you give off for your music, what type of vibes do you think people get off your music? Like, um. I don't know. I can't say, you know. I mean, they, I'm pretty sure they feel that that South St. Louis vibe, that third district vibe, you know. And 
I can't speak for anybody else. What I hear, that's what I feel. Yeah, yeah. and I know when I was listening to the curveball, you know, you talk about when you were younger and stuff like that and growing up and all that and you're rapping. But you feel like your life as a young rapper, for just starting off, do you feel like it's more different than someone who's been starting off since they were younger? Or you feel like, no, nah, I'm just, my story may be coming later, but it's still on. Um, Cause I know you say you started later in the game. Yeah, I mean, I I'm, I started late and I, you know, I just came out, but I, I don't know. I'd have to rap longer to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> you have to rap for a little minute. Yeah. But you've done a lot of stuff since you've been starting on the rap scene, you know, working with that many, you know, pop and STL artists. It's like, that's unheard of for someone who just recently started. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. And then also with your media, you know, you have the Kayo Media, the record label. So not only are you doing music, you got a label too. Yes, yeah, so I own my own label. And so how did that start off? Um, the the group signed to me, Twin Bloods. There was uh, we got to talking, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just make my own label and sign y'all. Oh, you then, were just so passionate about their music. You like y'all yeah. dope as heck. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, make yeah. this label, and we gonna make something happen. Yeah, that's super dope. Uh, look out for them, by the way. They they doing numbers. Twin now. Bloods, y'all. Don't yeah. forget it. Twin Bloods. They all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and when you say you work with them, do you have any new artists coming in, or it's just strictly we aren't focusing on Twin Bloods right now? We're trying to make them pop, and then we'll bring some other people in. So far, it's just me and them. Just you and them. You know, I don't know if we'll be, you know, signing anyone else, but so so far, it's just me and them. And any offers at the table, like, hey man, I'm trying to sign with you. Blah blah uh, blah. I'm trying to work with you. It's crazy. A lot of people <laughs> came to me. But you're like, nah, not yeah, yet. We don't even have, you know, we're not even big enough to do that yet. We're still trying to put ourselves on mm -hmm. as far as that goes. I feel you, I feel you. And then with the Curveball mixtape again, you said the theme for that was, you know, more of an introduction theme, introducing yourself when people get to feel you out. Do you have any new mixtapes coming out? Like a story, a follow-up to Curveball? No, just the album. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be released in the fall, September, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, you know, as you said before, you know, you're going to try to work with Chicago, maybe a Southern rapper. Have you recently reached out to anybody on the coastal line or in the Midwest? Or are you just strictly, I'm focusing on me right now? Uh, in the Midwest, I have talks with Dirk, Lil Dirk. Mm -hmm. We're uh, trying to work something out. Cool, cool. And um, That's a big name, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got an answer from Dej Loaf, but I'm worried, you know, that she wants too much money and we're negotiating that. <laughs> but uh, I'll more than likely have Dirk on my next album. Mm -hmm. And so you've been branching off. And then also, do you have any more performances? Because I know you say other states, they vibe with you, they show you mad love. Do you have any performances upcoming, whether they be in here in Missouri or outside? Um, I have nothing coming up in St. Louis. Uh, I have two shows coming up next month. One is in Fresno, California. Mm -hmm. One is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, are you headlining any of those? The one in Minneapolis, yes. And are you excited? Are you like nervous? Or I'm super that's... nervous. I've never been on a stage before. Really? Yeah. But you come in hard though. Headlining is like crazy. You like yeah, start the vibe off for how people gonna feel. I think I'm gonna have to practice first in a small, <laughs> smaller venue. I know. I feel you. I feel you. And then, is there any way that people, you know, who don't know your music, you know, your fans already know your music, but anyone looking out there today who's like, you know, I want to know more about this dude. He's dope. He's a cool artist. Is there any social medias? Facebook, mm. Twitter, Insta, Snap? So, KayoMedia.com. You know, all my social media is on there. Just go on there and check us out. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Thank you, Kayo, so much for having me. Thank you. Thanks for having me.